Hey, what's going on, miners? Today, we're just going to be uh, doing a little bit of mail call. So let's get right into it. So I know I haven't exactly, um, you know, done a video recently. I've been, you know, really busy with, um, you know, Terra and stuff like that. And actually, I'm going to move this laptop out of the way so you guys don't have to, like, look at a laptop, obviously. Um, so, like I said, I've been really busy with Terra. And, you know, I just, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a really long time. Um, I've also been kind of dealing with some personal stuff. I've been working a lot. So, apologize for not putting out content. So, let's go ahead and, you know, I have quite a few packages that I received and I think you guys are going to be interested in some of the stuff I got and some of the things I'm going to be doing as far as like projects. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. So the first package I got is from the, um, the people over at Brains. So we have here one of their control boards, which is really cool. Um, I talked to them and they've seen me doing some you know, Bitcoin ASIC content. So they reached out to me and and wanted to know if I would use one of their hash boards. And I was like, yeah, dude, let's do this. Oh, dude, that's sick. Look at that. You even get like a little keychain with like a little chip on it. That is, dude, that's, that's sick. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at this. Um, so I am gonna be putting this on a, on a like a 104 or 96 tera hash unit. And I might do some comparisons of can you mine with those older S19s and make them profitable and sell the units and actually make money in the bull run. And I want to do it with this control board here. Wow, this packaging is just, this thing's barely going to fit through there. All right. That's what she said, right? All right. Wow, this thing. Got it. All right. Now we got, yeah. All right. So you can see the hash board. It has the, um, the data cable connections and it has four fan connections and a power supply connection. And this cable here, uh, let me see here with my finger. This also communicates with the power supply. Um, it does have uh, an SD uh, card reader, Ethernet, and I believe this is for IP report. So it has some of the basic functions, you know, of a typical, you know, S19 board. So, um, yeah, I'm really curious. Um, I want to see if this actually gives you better results than just downloading the firmware itself and actually using their actual control board, right? I wonder if there'll be any differences because I do have a 104 with the firmware on it. So that'll be really cool to do that comparison. Like does actually running the actual control board yield you better results than just downloading the firmware? I don't know, but it'll be interesting, right? Um, see what else we got in here. I think they sent me some goodies here. So, oh yeah. So they sent me a... Uh, Oh, wow. Okay. We got a bunch of stuff. Um, wow. Well, thank you to the Brains team. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, looks like they sent me um, a Bitcoin shirt. You guys can see that right there. Appreciate that. And it looks like we got some books. Um, hey, next time I'm on a plane, I got something to read, right? Um, we got the Bitcoin Mining Handbook. And then we have the Bitcoin mining economics and then Bitcoin separation of money and state. So, huh, be some interesting things to read there. So really cool, really excited to start, you know, mess with this control board. Let's get into my next package here. And um, this is from um, this is from the boss. So this is from Chump Change. And he taped this really good. Boy, he really did not want this to be opened. <laughs> I 
<laughs> there we go. Boy, so much tape. A while back, um, and this is what's in here. It's just a bunch of these. And you might be asking me, what are these? These are the angle brackets to connect the GPU risers frames. So thank you, boss, for sending this out to me. Um, I know I haven't opened this, and I know you sent this a while ago. I've just been really busy. Um, so I am going to be making some GPU mining rigs again with my 1660 Supers, and I will be stacking the frames with these, uh, with these attachments right here. You can see them. They're just little angle frames and you just screw them in. So this way you can stack the frames on top of each other. So appreciate it, Chump. Thank you so much. Then we have another box from Mr. GPU Risers. And this isn't gonna be your typical box for Mr. GPU Risers. I have a whole box of these cables. So these are, I believe, I can't, I think these are Gen 4, but as you can see, these are actual ribbon risers. Um, I was going to do this for my quad 4090 build um, at some point, um, but I'm not doing that anymore. Um, so actually, um, I have another project that I'm going to be using this for. Um, so I'm, I might be hanging on to these. Um, so yeah, I have something in mind, but stay tuned. And then I'll be right back. I got a couple ASICs from Mr. RPM. We have a Z15 from Mr. RPM. I also have a handshake miner. Um, the handshake miner is in a better condition, um, but I have, this is the Z15. I, I'm just gonna leave the, the handshake miner box, but I got these ASICs from Mr. RPM. Um, and let's go ahead and I'll try to show this up close and you can see how gross this Z15 is. Now, it doesn't look too bad. So, it doesn't look too bad um, with, you know, the dirt and stuff like that. Obviously, Panda never cleans his stuff. So, he says it mines and then it turns off. Um, maybe I just need to reflash the control board or something like that. I'll have to read the logs, figure out what's going on with this. But... I do plan on doing a deep clean with this, taking out the hash boards, putting them in an ultrasonic cleaner, cleaning everything up, putting it all back together, seeing if we can't make this thing work. And um, I've heard of people been able to mine flux with this. I've heard rumors of this. So I'm curious to see if you can make it work. Um, I don't know, but if not, then I'll mine Zcash or something like that with it or something, right? Um, but yeah, so got this nice little Z15 here, um, and I got a, I also got a, I also got a handshake miner from from Panda. Um, I think it's a hand. Um. So yeah, I got I got a few packages in here. We got the Z15. Um, I got the control board from from Brains that I look forward to doing. Um, I'm gonna clean this up, do some more ultrasonic cleaning uh, content, show you guys how to use the ultrasonic cleaners. I'll be doing some more how-tos of like HiveOS, maybe some tricks and tips for HiveOS. 
maybe some tricks and tips next time I go out to Kansas um, of troubleshooting Octominers. Um, yeah, there's going to be some more content coming up, guys. I'm not, I'm not out of here yet. I just, I guess I needed a break for a little while. Um, had a lot of stuff going on, working really long days. Um, but yeah, we're going to do a, a mail call. So these are some of the things I'm working on here. Um, oops, sorry about that. So this is some of the stuff I'm working on. Um, I will be, and don't worry, guys, I'm not at a GPU mining. Um, I'll be spec mining with my 1660 Supers. So that way, I'm like you guys at home. I got just maybe eight to like 16 cards on a spec coin. And I'm going to host a live stream. I'm probably going to try and do it Friday. And we're going to put that thing in Hive OS. And we're going to find some spec coins to mine. All right. So um, let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know which one of these things are you most excited about to watch and, and, and check out. You know what I mean? You guys looking forward to the brains video. You guys want to see some ultrasonic cleaning on the Z15. Um, any of that stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Um, all right. This is the money King giving you the most hashes. And I'll see you next time.